Good Tuesday evening, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Tyler Rionder on this Election Day Tuesday. Hopefully you made it out to the polls because the weather somewhat cooperated, although we had a couple of showers from time to time, but it didn't put too much of a damper. And the clouds kept the temperature down. 74 degrees was the high temperature today, and that's just 3 degrees below average. The low temperature this morning was 53 degrees. That's 2 degrees above average, so overall pretty average. And notice this record low temperature, 28 degrees back in 1993. And we're going to get close to that. It's not going to be such a stretch in the reality since coming toward the weekend. No rain officially at the Tallahassee Regional Airport. And current temperatures at this hour, 72 degrees at Tallahassee Regional Airport. We have an east-northeasterly wind at 7 miles per hour, so a little bit breezy today at times as well. Current temperatures around the region, we have 71 degrees in Tallahassee, 65 degrees in Valdosta, upper 60s in Jacksonville to lower 70s over in Ocala, 73 degrees in both Mariana and Crestview. So temperatures are fairly uniform across the area, and check out the relative humidity because this will show you just where the moisture is parked over the area. We have moisture coming up the southern portion of the state into southern Georgia. So notice the humidity values are a little bit higher, 81% rather in Gainesville, 90% in Jacksonville. But our system that's off to the west hasn't quite approached us yet. And uh, so that's why humidity values are a little bit lower here. But they're going to start creeping up over the next uh, day or so. And here's the satellite and radar picture. You can better see the rain where it's coming from across the southern portion of the peninsula. Lots of heavy rain there. And an even bigger system to the west. We have storms in New Orleans and Jackson, Mississippi, all progressing toward the east. So we're going to watch that to be a player in our weather later in the week. And the upper level water vapor imagery shows dry air retreating across uh, south Florida being replaced by some moisture. There's an upper level low here in portions of Texas, and that's going to kind of be a player toward the end of, uh, well, starting tomorrow, actually. Notice how it's kind of losing its steam, but we're still going to get some rain out of this, so we'll look for that. And check out the precipitation forecast. We'll go from scattered nature, shower activity tomorrow to more numerous on your Thursday. So make sure you bring the umbrella in the car over the next couple of days. But then big changes are coming for the end of the week. We'll talk about that in just a second. But for tonight, we have a 30% chance of rain, mostly cloudy skies, overnight showers possible, low temperatures in the 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, we're going to top out in the mid-range of the 70s. And again, don't forget your umbrella. We'll see an easterly wind at 10 miles per hour, a 40% chance of rain. And for the next seven days, an increased chance of rain on Thursday, 60%. High temperatures struggling to reach 70 degrees. Then we'll be much cooler, even chilly into the weekend. 65 degrees on Friday, 67 on Saturday. Don't forget to turn your clocks back. And then in the morning, temperatures will be in the upper 30s.